maybe don't video chat with the boyfriend. Zing! At least not until you get the twigs out of your hair. Ha <laughs> ha! I appreciate your concern. Hey, what? Jeez. You want that chowder now? The offer expired. I was going to say, we make a pretty good team. See? That's proof right there. You are definitely hallucinating. Yeah, seriously, that thunder is insane. Oh, this is not the BF. Always an explanation. Gotta remember that. Or what is, is it? the town of Greenwich, New York? Sorry? They have a witch on their emblem. We won! Really? Sending you a pic. When can we expect payment? <laughs> That's a fire department logo. I said police. Public safety. It's all the same. A technicality. There's something I have to get off my chest. I saw a ghost. <laughs> Sorry, what? This case. I've never seen anything like it. It felt real. I can't explain it. What is it? What's wrong? Uh, hold on. Say no more. It just so happens that ghost hunting is our specialty. Wait, what? We're not passing on a chance like this. Be there before you know it. Wait, the boys are coming? Only if you really want to. Talk to you later. The boys are back in town. Interesting. The hell is going? What is this? Ah, Jesus! Yeah. Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> the hell was that? What time is it? It's early. Hurry up, get dressed, and meet me downstairs. I have something to cheer you up. Chores? I hope it's chores, because we haven't had any Nancy chores yet. No, seriously, what is going on? I do think that I'm going to have to... And I don't even know what audio setting it is, but... That thunder is way, way too loud. So give me a second here and we'll figure this out. Uh, music? No... Sound effects? I'm not sure if it'd be ambient volume, maybe? Let's put that down and we'll do... Leave it like that, maybe, and we'll see if that helps. Because that thunder was insane. I mean, it was effective. <laughs> and creepy. See, this is where we should be able to go to our wardrobe and pick our outfits, right? So let's go down here. Uh, what is our objective for the day? Help with breakfast. Seriously? Seriously? We are going to do chores? Do I like jump scares? Um, they're okay. I mean, I prefer to the slow burn of a psychological scare, but it's all good. Okay, how do I? Ugh. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Um, the boys are here. How did they get here so fast? How long was Nancy asleep? Oh my, oh my, oh my, not good, not good, not good. <coughs> Oh, what are you guys doing in here? They're trying their best to unimpress me. Mission accomplished. Nancy! Hi! Joe was just, uh, making an effort. Oh, that's what that smell is. I tried showing him the ropes, but he wants to prove he can do it without my help. Tegan set out the ingredients for Johnny Cakes before she had to run, but I gotta admit, it's been a while since I last whipped something up. Successfully. Oh. I love Johnny Cakes. I can help. Of course you can. All right, Hardy, step down before we have another fire on our hands. That is a lot of smoke. I did not look at the... F I don't even know how to look at it. Oh, okay. You're right, I did not look at this. So there is a full moon. And it's time for us... Ooh, is this chocolate bars? Cocoa? Oh, and the pumpkin needs to go there, too. Wait, I'm curious. Will it let me leave? There are some more things oh. I'd like to look into before I'm done. Nope, we are in prison. Cook is our... What we're gonna have to do, is it? Mm-hmm. How can the boys muck it up? Uh, I mean, the stereotype would be boys will be boys, but... Yeah, we're going to need all of the pumpkins. 
So, where do I... This is Coca Kringle Chocolate Bars, for what I remember. Hmm. So where do I... Oh, looks like we're over here. Hands up. All right, let's see. Jeez. Step one. One cup of sugar. One cup of sugar. Two tablespoons of sugar. This can't be right. I told you I couldn't keep up with her. So I improvised. I'm 100% <laughs> certain about the amounts, though. <laughs> let's approach this sensibly. What do we need? We need sugar, 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 and more sugar. Flour, sugar, salt. Oh, we're making Johnny cakes. Uh, I don't think you need a cup of sugar. I think that's a bit much, right? So what are ingredients here? Um, interact. S what is this? Flour. Flour. Cornmeal. Cornmeal. Baking powder. Salt. Sugar. One cup of... Flour? Flour. Looks right to me. Yay! Can't... So these quantities are correct? Hmm. Who's gonna make these tonight, tomorrow, alright? So it might be another... This looks like a big bag, so it's probably a cornmeal, right? One cup of cornmeal. I think you've got it. So then we got two tablespoons and one tablespoon. So what would we want next? Sugar. Sugar. Salt. Salt. I don't think you'd want that much salt. Sugar probably would be my guess. One spoon of sugar. I think you've got it. Really? Or would it be two? It'd be two, right? One spoon of sugar. We're getting there. We are choring it up. So now what do we have left? We have a tablespoon and a teaspoon. And we've got yeast. That's probably the smallest quantity, maybe. Or maybe not. Wait, no, what is Baking this? Baking powder. Baking powder. Salt. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we need that One much salt. Powder. I think you've got it. One teaspoon of salt. Looks right to me. That looks great. Let's tackle the next step. Yeah, baking powder small, exactly. All right. Second step. We have to fill the bowl until the weight is just right. Quick heads up. This is about where things started to go south last time. Hey. <laughs> Let's just trust that Nancy knows what she's doing. So, milk 8 ounces, melted butter 0. 0.5, vanilla is 0. 0.2. Oh, boy. Oh, wow, 11.7. .7. So milk is eight. I guess we just... I don't know, which one would we want to start with? Vanilla's 0 0.2? 0 0.2? What does this do? 0 0.1? 0 0.2. And then melted butter is 0 0.5. Okay, so that's 0.6. Seven, which is correct and then we need eight so then we need eggs um, wait 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 vanilla we did vanilla right oh my goodness <laughs> we're, we're making pancakes or something Lanessa how are you doing today time for cooking nutmeg hmm Oh, I'll throw some nutmeg in there. Oh, nutmeg doesn't weigh anything. Sweet. So we've got this, we've got this, and we've got that. So we've got these three things here. Eggs. How much does one egg weigh? Oh my lord, an egg is quite heavy. So we know we need eight ounces. So what if we put this in? And we'll put another egg in? Yeah, we're doing it. Mix it. That looks great. Let's tackle the next step. More cooking, Finally, apparently. My favorite part. I thought your favorite part was eating. My next favorite part. Dear goodness. Joe, could you help me pour while I flip? Sure thing. Looks like we're going to be cooking. Pancakes for days. 
Flip it. It's like cooking, Mama, isn't it? How do you like your pancakes? Well done or over easy? Here comes some more. Oh my goodness, this is stressful. Are we gonna get tips from uh, Cook and Brecky here? Ah, I think I like mine a little browner than this. Like All you know done. what I mean? A little they crispier. Look super tasty. Let's eat. Yeah, exactly. Golden brown and delicious. Okay, this is the Nancy Drew I've been looking for. No more creepy jump scares, just chores and cooking. Uh, since we cooked, we don't have to clean up the mess, right? Right. So are we done? Where is everyone? Oh, right. <laughs> no maple syrup, I know. I, I thought that's kind of sad, actually. Be right back doing Ooh, Nancy Drew laundry. Delicious. Great job, Nancy. These look amazing. Okay. May. These are the Hardy brothers, Frank and Joe. We are very interested in your case. Uh huh. They're good friends of mine. They're going to help us with the investigation. The more people we have working on this, the better chance we have of solving the case. Cool. Joe, you need to learn how to cook. Maybe let Frank teach you. Otherwise, how are you going to impress anyone? Solving crimes impresses people. Mm. So does committing them. What? It's true. Wait, I can... Not saying I'm impressed by that. Just stating a fact. I prefer someone who possesses a deep intellectual appreciation and table manners. You want to be impressed? We should finally show her our business plan for our new business. What? It's very businessy. What? What is it? Well, Joe and I have been talking recently about making things a bit more official. Since we're always called to solve crimes, we thought that maybe we should start getting paid for it. We're starting our very own detective agency. License, insurance, the whole thing. And... And we want to know if you'd be interested in being a partner. A partner? Hey, table that. All right, Drew. Why not update everyone on where we're at? So we're getting partnership offers from the boys. Huh. Interesting. So I guess you're wondering about the thing I mentioned. Yes, sounds super exciting. I already told them about the whole sighting. Yeah, I can't explain it yet. Even with the most modern scientific techniques available, there are many phenomena that we still cannot explain. I believe what you saw was real. What? What? Sure, some sort of combination of gaseous blow-off and light refraction. No, supernatural. A ghost, a real ghost, with thoughts and memory and agency. I'm not so sure. I just built some new equipment that I'd love to try out. I'm sure it's nothing, but we'll go to the cemetery today and investigate anyway. Maybe we can add ghost hunting to our detective services. <laughs> Kidding. One thing I'd like to do today is check the town archives. If it's all the same to you, I'd prefer to handle this. You were going to look into the history of ownership of the Hathorn House, right? Yeah, sure. We can go together. Uh, no. It's better if I handle this solo. I'm a whiz with microfish. Don't ask me why. Sounds like a story. And I'm not going to tell it to you, okay? So, Nancy. What do you think we should focus on for the investigation? Judge Danforth mentioned that he was the victim of a burglary. What was stolen? We don't know. 
The judge was working with Tegan on developing a case for the Accused Witches Organization. The what? The descendants of the Accused Witches of the 1692 Salem Witch Trials. They're staking a claim to the Hathorn Estate due to unjust dispossession and execution of their ancestors. It's one of the reasons I search for the Book of Apologies in Austria, as it contains a record of wronged families. But someone swiped it, and right under my nose. And around the time of the arson, there was a burglary at the judge's office. Too coincidental not to be connected. That's exactly what I was thinking. I'd like to review the crime scene at the courthouse for any clues. The judge might not let you do that. He didn't sound very forthcoming. True. Maybe my father can convince him. They're old friends. I can give him a call. All right. What else? I haven't really said much. I'm just kind of waiting for the dialogue to happen. But uh, thank you for checking in on me. The arson that happened last week. And we haven't had the chance to collect any alibis yet. We need to ask everyone we've met where they were on the night of the arson. 